Hello, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Rudy and thank you so much for being here. I look like what I would guess the Loch Ness Monster, perhaps, um, what's the big, uh, what's the big like, like, su like snow one? The big snow one. What's the big snow monster? The Yeti. The freaking Yeti. I am the what Yeti's wife today based on the look that I have going with my hair. And that's okay because I'm going to do La Peep, AKA do a Lipa tonight with my husband. And um, I just felt like kind of doing it big, like 80s big hair. And I think I'm gonna do like a graphic liner too, which is obviously not my usual, but I'm like, it's do La Peep. For do La Peep, we gotta do it up. We gotta do La it up for the Peep, for Miss Peepa as Wendy Williams color, Dula Pipa. I was looking at my old videos and I saw one that I was like, oh, this video did really well and actually found that it was quite helpful for a lot of people. And that was kind of speed reviewing popular uh, new skincare releases. And so I kind of gathered up all of my newish skincare releases that I have been testing from Ulta, Sephora, and Target. I don't think Coco Kind is at Ulta yet. I think it's only at Target. So we have some Coco Kind, some Hero, some In Beauty Project, Summer Fridays, like just a little bit of everything of stuff that I have been testing out, some things that I'm really, really enjoying, a few things that I feel eh about, and um, one thing that I actually ended up returning that I don't have with me anymore. And by returning, I mean I sent it to my friend Kevin because I got it from the brand. <laughs> I also put a softbox light to my right. So tell me if you think that the lighting is a little bit better in this video versus the last video. Again, trying to figure this out. I'm gonna be hanging stuff in the background and we'll get everything situated. But until then, you know, it's just a work in progress. And as I mentioned, my name is Rudy. Thank you so much for being here. We talk more than just skincare on this channel. We also talk makeup, fashion, we do vlogging, and I would love to have you subscribe. And if you're interested in hearing about some of these new skincare releases, keep on watching. All right, so I wanna start out with something that um, I'm really, really enjoying, and I'm gonna try and make these kind of speed review style because we've kind of got a lot to talk about. But this one, I wanna say, is up there as one of my favorites in this haul of newer products, and that is the Piss. The Piss. The Piss. This is the Peace Out Retinol Face Stick. So this is a really unique product and I actually purchased this myself from Sephora pretty much as soon as I saw it on the website because if you followed me for a while, you know that I recently stopped using Tretinoin about four or five months ago. And I've slowly been trying to figure out the right retinol to incorporate into my routine so that I could still have nice cell turnover in my skin without all of the irritation of using a prescription strength retinoid as I have very sensitive skin. So I ended up landing on the Peace Out Retinol Face Stick. I don't know if you knew, they have an eye stick that went pretty viral that a lot of people swear by and love because it's an encapsulated retinol, so it's gonna have a time release system to help with irritation, but also offer a really nice, highly potent retinol to the under eyes. So they actually made a face stick version of that. I've talked about this in a video about hyperpigmentation, but just to quickly break it down, this is a 3% encapsulated retinol. I apply this mm, once every three nights at this point. It also has Bakuchiol in it and it also has a vitamin C derivative. So it's going to help lighten the skin, lightly exfoliate while also providing cell turnover. I would say this is probably better for anti-aging and less for acne control because of the stick format. It's something that you kind of occlude your entire skincare with as your very last step. So this is not a retinol that you would use right after cleansing or before your moisturizer. Because it's in this balm formula, it's going to go on very, very last on top of everything, almost as if you were slugging with it, which is another reason why I like it because I find that it is very unique non-messy, non-sticky, really does the job. And I also find that I can bring it down my neck without any irritation or kind of goo getting everywhere all over my pillows. Just really, really enjoying this. And it is expensive, but I have seen results and I feel like it's doing a great job and I will continue to use this. So, so far, this is amazing. Really happy with it. Okay, so while we're talking about Sephora products, let's just go through all of those and then we'll go down to the other stores. Another product that I've talked about recently, which none of this should be a surprise to you guys because you guys know that I stick with something. Once I try something and I like it, I like to see it through. So another product from Sephora that I'm really, really loving from a brand that I love a lot is this In Beauty Project 10 plus 10 moisturizer. In Beauty has really been 
dropping major hits when it comes to skincare the past year and a half. There are so many things from them that I really like and I can't necessarily say I felt that way maybe a year and a half ago when they first came out. There were some things that I was interested in, but really at this point, I am loving this product. I love their lip glazes. I love their face glaze. They just have a really good kind of style that they've stuck to that's bright and exciting, but the product inside is really just simple and effective, which is something that I really like. I have been using this moisturizer pretty much every single morning underneath my SPF, and it is the perfect amount of moisture to wear under something that's a little bit of a heavier layer, especially if you have combo to oily skin. I don't know that this is going to be enough on its own for dry skin, but as a layering product, it's beautiful. It doesn't pill. It sinks into the skin beautifully and it has a lotion texture, something in between a gel cream and an actual cream. I think that this could have easily been in a pump because it is thin enough, but I don't mind this packaging at all. It's beautiful. I've been having such a great experience with it and it has the ingredients that I know and love so much, squalene, peptides, a 10% vitamin C complex. So it's a great way to get vitamin C into your skincare routine without having to use a dedicated vitamin C serum. I'm lazy, I don't like layering a bunch of stuff in the morning, I just kinda wanna get out the door. This is a great way to do that and a great way to include vitamin C in your skincare routine if you have sensitive skin, which is me. Again, it's pricey, they sent me this. However, I would still go ahead and go out on a limb and purchase this because it is such a robust kind of formulation. Again, you're cutting out that step of needing a vitamin C serum and it's just beautiful. You could also use, you know, the Neutrogena Hydro Boost in the morning and have that same kind of feeling of having a layer of moisture on before your SPF. But I'll be honest, I'm not I'm not reaching for the Hydro Boost as much as I'm reaching for this one, and I just have to be honest with you guys, it is really, really nice. We're just getting winners after winners after winners right now from Sephora. This was in my last month's favorites and flops as a favorite, and this is the Summer Fridays Light Aura Vitamin C and Peptide Eye Cream. Can you tell that there's like clearly a kind of product that I'm really into right now, which is peptides? I had mentioned in a past video that I had just not found an eye cream that I felt really helped brighten my under eyes and helped with deep puffing, kind of everything that I would want an eye cream to do while also hydrating the under eyes and looking good under makeup. It's a lot to ask for, and I truly feel that I have found that in this eye cream. I love it so much. There's just something about the texture, the color, and the way it looks under the eyes that immediately I saw results, but also over time saw results, which is pretty much the perfect combination for an eye cream. You want something that's going to immediately brighten with some light reflecting qualities, perhaps an orange or a reddish color to help color correct that blue tinge under the eye, but at the same time have really robust ingredients that will help with depuffing the eyes over time or lighten dark spots, etc. So you're having peptides in here to help with the firmness under your eyes, some of that sagging that we tend to get as we get older, with vitamin C to help brighten the under eyes, and because it has this orange orange look to it and it's super hydrating. It gives you an automatic glow under the eyes. It's also in a cream format, but it feels really nice and thin, sinks into the skin beautifully, looks great under makeup. And on my no makeup makeup days, I literally will just put this on and go out the door and I feel like it still makes a difference. I won't go a day without this and I will continue to repurchase it at its expensive cost because I feel like it's actually making a difference. Instead of continuing to try and buy new eye creams all the time. I could literally throw them all out, except for this one. And no, I don't use this in the evenings. I tend to just go for it in the morning and I'll use like a thicker, really, well, I'm using one from Color Science right now. That was in my 2021 best of skincare video, which I can link up above. But this is my morning eye cream. Absolutely love it. Highly recommend that you try it out if you have sensitive skin like me, if you have dark under eyes and you're just looking for that perfect eye cream. It's this one. Okay, so my last product from Sephora is actually a lip mask and it's from the brand Lawless. So I've talked about Lawless, I think I've talked about Lawless on my channel before, which it's kind of a newer brand to me, but I'm really, really loving pretty much everything that they make. They have really nice lip plumping glosses. I'm actually wearing one right now. I really like their foundation. I wore it to my rehearsal dinner when I was getting married. And I just really like their lip products because they provide a plumping effect without 
pain and heat. If you've ever tried the Buxom lip plumpers, it's more of that kind of alley where it gives more of a cooling sensation, kind of fills in the lines of the lips and looks ultra glossy. So when they came out with a forget the filler overnight lip plumping mask, I knew I had to have it. I actually bought this from the Lawless website because I could not wait for it to get on Sephora but it is available at Sephora now if you wanna purchase it. When I saw Forget the Filler, that's the same title as their lip plumpers, their everyday glosses that they have in different colors. But because this was an overnight mask, I was like, you know what, let's just try it out because I love kind of testing a bunch of different lip products at once. I really like the Laneige Lip Sleeping Masks. Obviously, you guys know that I'm into the Sugar Rush Lip Balm. So bottom line, I actually don't like this as a nighttime lip mask. I found a way to love it in a different way and I'll explain that in a minute, but essentially this is the same sort of sensation as their Forget the Filler lip glosses. Let me just grab one. Okay, so this is the one I have on today, the Forget the Filler Lip Plumping Line Smoothing Gloss, and I believe this is in the shade Velvet. Yeah, so it's just like a really nice pink. I gotta show you this doe foot because it's so nice. It's like perfectly rounded for your lips, and it just hugs them so beautifully absolutely great product again gives you that cooling sensation these have the same sensation on the lips which is that cooling kind of menthol-y feeling and it lasts for quite a while i put this on before i started filming and in my camera i can see it's been 15 minutes already and it's still cooled so when i put this on i was expecting to feel like a really nice thick layer of lip but I was not expecting to get the cooling sensation. And to be honest, it was just off-putting for me at night. Like something about having that cooling sensation while I was trying to fall asleep, it just wasn't working for me. It made me like notice my lips and it, I don't know, it wasn't like keeping me from sleeping, but it wasn't comfortable. This is also not, uh, it's not any specific shade. It looks pink in the tube. It says it's in the shade Sweet Dreams, which makes me think there might be more of these coming, but it's actually just clear on the lips, kind of like when you see Carmex in the tub and it's like yellow, but when you put it on, it's clear. Very similar to that. So what I've started doing instead is using this in the morning before I go about my day or before I put on my makeup. And that is the best way that I have enjoyed using this. So I will use this every single morning and I feel like it helps wake up my face. It's not adding a layer of color, but it's helping prep my lips for makeup down the road so that my lips are nice and clear. They're hydrated and plump, but it's just not my jam for nighttime. I do like it a lot. I don't know if I'm gonna repurchase it after I get through this, um, but I am enjoying it for the morning time. I just don't know if it's necessary to have a sort of lip plumping mask that offers this cooling sensation in the morning but I didn't like it for nighttime. So do with that information what you will. Okay, moving on to Ulta, I just had to do a quick little search because I wanted to make sure that Peach and Lily is not available at Sephora and it's not, which is an absolute damn shame. And can we talk about how Ulta is kind of like really coming up with being available at Target, they're starting to get these really nice luxury brands that are used to be only available at Sephora. There is a rumor that Charlotte Tilbury is coming to Ulta. So like these big Sephora brands are starting to go to Ulta and they have drugstore and they're available at Target. Like they're really, they have hair, I mean, they're doing it. They're doing the damn thing. So anyways, Peach and Lily, not available at Sephora. I always send this by the brand, but you can pick this up at Ulta. This is the Peach and Lily Power Cocktail Lactic Acid Repair Serum. This is one of their newer products. I think it was their most recent launch. This is another one of those products that I talked about in the hyperpigmentation video. And I think I have one more product that was in that video as well. <laughs> so if you want a more in-depth review on this, head over to that video. Same for the 10 plus 10 moisturizer and the retinol and one more thing. But, I'm really enjoying this. I think that this is an amazing exfoliant for someone with sensitive skin and maybe who wants to help with a little bit of skin texture and wants to help with anti-aging, fine lines, and overall dullness on the skin. But I don't think that this would be enough of an exfoliant for people who have severe acne or acne in general. I don't really think that this is who is being targeted from this product. So this is a 10% lactic acid serum and it also has some extracts in here to help with soothing the skin and smoothing, plumping, hyaluronic acid, things like that. The main focus of this product is the lactic acid, which is there to kind of exfoliate the top layer of dead skin and give you an overall glow of the skin, help with that texture like I mentioned, but again, it's really not gonna get in there like a salicylic acid slash what a BHA would do, like Polish Choice 2%. To really get in there and clear out the blockages in your skin, this is more of a top layer 
aesthetically pleasing, but works very well exfoliant. I find that this is great for my sensitive skin and that it works in rotation with the retinol that I'm using. So for instance, if I'm using this every three days, in between those days or perhaps once a week, if I'm feeling like things are just a little bit dull, I will put this into my routine and I feel like the next morning my skin looks overall a little bit nicer, a little bit more smooth and glowing. This is also a really nice texture. It's like a milky texture and it's unlike any other exfoliating serum that I've ever tried. It is um, almost like a, like the cream skin, but maybe a little bit thicker. So the Monday Born Source, which you guys know I love, it's similar to that, absolutely gorgeous. Just really, really unique. Very much love it. Do I think it's necessary for everyone? No. But if you're someone who is kind of going through what I'm going through, you have similar skin to me and you have sensitive skin, I think you'll really like this. Peach and Lily makes amazing stuff. Okay, I wanna actually go back to something at Sephora that I don't have with me and which is that's why I forgot to mention it. Okay, so Pharmacy released a 10% niacinamide mask, a nighttime sleeping mask. I was really excited about this because I heard great things from some of my friends uh, albeit a lot of them have more strong, resilient skin, but also that it was super hydrating, sort of this jelly texture, and it was giving people just gorgeous glowing skin that helped with redness. Just everything that niacinamide does, just like to the nth degree. It was this beautiful periwinkle color, like, I was so excited. I tested it and I woke up the next morning with just irritation, irritation on my face, on my forehead, and it took a few days for my skin to kind of go down from that. So I ended up giving it to my friend, Kevin. So I just wanted to point that in his direction. I'm sure that he will probably review it. I can leave his handle down below, but just know that if you typically deal with sensitivity with niacinamide, I would just skip that launch. It was too much for me and as much as I wanted to use it, it just didn't work. So something that I wanna bring up instead that has a similar bouncy jelly consistency but is available at Target. This is the new Chia Bounce Mask from Coco Kind. So this is uh, less of a super niacinamide focus mask and more of like a mixture of different things to help with brightening and soothing the skin. There is panthenol, niacinamide rich spirulina, so it's not necessarily niacinamide concentrated in here. There is chia gel, which is, you know, obviously holds a lot of water weight if you've ever eaten chia seeds before. And there is multiple molecular weights of hyaluronic acid to help keep the skin plump and hydrated. So I was really excited to see this. I think this is a great launch for them. It's the perfect size. I think this could be used in a multitude of ways. You could use this as a gel moisturizer. You could use it on a day after uh, retinol use, use it as an in-shower intensive mask, use it as a spot treatment when you're super dry in specific areas. I just think it is really great and it was a great next step for them in terms of launches. And again, I think if you're sensitive, try this out instead of the pharmacy. It's also more affordable and available at Target. This video is getting really long, so the last thing that I'm gonna talk about is another product that's available at Ulta, which newsflash, Hero is now available at Ulta. How amazing is that? That's so exciting. Now you can buy Hero Cosmetics at Ulta and at Target. Love to see it. So this is the Hero Lightning Swipe Dark Spot Brightening Pads. This was their newest launch. I also talked about this in that video about hyperpigmentation. It was actually a sponsorship with Hero for this launch. And I wanted to just give you an update and tell you that I have been using this under my arms, sort of as my deodorant, like I would my Kosas uh, deodorant around similar ingredient breakdown. It's like a little bit nicer even because it has niacinamide, tranexamic acid, a vitamin complex and kombucha. So it's helping with lightening the skin with the vitamin C, but also exfoliating for stinkiness. It's less of a serum-y consistency and more of a liquid. And I just really, really love it. I think it's amazing for the body. I do like to use it on the face, but honestly, I enjoy using the lightening wand on my face more and using this on my body. So if you have hyperpigmentation, dark spots from back knee, butt knee, underarms, which is my biggest issue. These are awesome. I love supporting Hero, and I'm so excited to see that they're at Ulta. So that is my breakdown of all of my new skincare launches that I have seen recently, the ones that I'm loving, the ones that I think you could skip. If you have any questions on these, let me know down below. <coughs> I talked too much. I was not even gonna film today because I thought that I wasn't in the mood to film. And then I just turned on the camera and started talking and now it's almost been 30 minutes. So thank you for talking with me today. You really got me in the mood. You got me in a good mood. You got me in a better mood today. And um, I think I'm gonna do a vlog sometime later this week and then also talk about some upcoming glowy makeup and skincare dupes that I have been collecting. 
So I'm really excited about that and I will see you guys in the next video really soon.